And here we are. So thank you, Stephanie, for the introduction. And uh, I will now take over and uh, give you an overview how the uh, the cards presented by Stephanie can be handled in a fully automated workflow. But first, let me quickly give you an overview about CAMAC. We are a Swiss-based company. Uh, we combine Swissness. We have uh, our um, Swiss innovation department. All the instruments we provide are Swiss designed and Swiss manufactured. And we also work together with the Swiss uh, Research Institute, the CTI, to really stay at the latest front of technology. So we're coming from the field of HBTLC, so thin layer chromatography, where we are actually world leader in building instrumentation. Uh, at one point, we build an instrumentation to directly elute compounds from a TLC plate into a mass spec which then led to the development of the DBS MS500, which is the fully automated system to handle dried blood spot or dried matrix spot cards, as we saw previously presented by Stephanie. Um, so our headquarters is in Switzerland. We have two daughter companies in the US and Germany and the rest of the world we uh, are present with uh, distributors. So let's take a look at the uh, matrixes. From my point of view, the modern laboratory is always a combination of different matrices. So we especially uh, investigate blood and urine in terms of dried urine spot and dried blood spot analysis. The advantage of uh, dried blood spot analysis uh, have already been pointed out by Stephanie. So just to keep this quick. If we compare directly the liquid blood analysis with the dry blood spot analysis, we can see that liquid blood analysis, we always need a volume of at least half a milliliter or more. This is drawn by a nurse uh, with needles, etc. The sample needs to be uh, shipped on the frozen conditions, also with a biohazard label. And within the laboratory, the processes are quite tedious. So the precipitation, centrifugation for getting plasma, etc., is involved. So this makes this workflow quite expensive. On the other hand, the, uh, the analytical instruments have become so sensitive that we don't need this volume anymore. So one droplet of blood drawn from a finger or heel prick is sufficient to do quite some analysis. As soon as this blood spot is dried on the filter paper card, you don't need to label them as biohazard anymore, and they can be shipped with standard mail at room temperature. The full process in the laboratory is automated, as we will see in a few slides, and this really brings down the costs to a minimum. But DBS is nothing new. So the first routine application dates back to the 1962. This was actually a bacterial inhibition assay from, for, for newborns. And what we can see here in the picture is the discs, they were punched out and they were transferred with, with a pin set into a vial for extraction. And this workflow is still being done nowadays in, in many laboratories. So the workflow you can see in the, above in the picture and so a disc is punched out and transferred into a vial, they add solvent, we mix, we centrifuge, we take the supernatant, we add internal standard, and then at one point we go into the LCMS system. So this process we try to uh, automate, and here we developed the instrumentation you can see below, the DBS MS500. Additionally, we have some, some other features, which I will also explain a few slides later on, um, camera, etc. So the main difference here is if we compare this to punching, if I punch out the disc, I need to have at least 100 microliter of solvent to extract this. And this takes time, at least 20 minutes. So this is a passive extraction. Over time, there will be an equilibrium. And theoretically, the analytes, they travel from the disc into the solution and backwards. So the extraction efficiency is really going down over time. On the other hand, when we directly elute from the card, we have fresh solvent hitting this dry blood spot at all time, keeping the extraction efficiency at the optimum. So here we end up with only 20 microliter of a very concentrated extract, and this is done within less than a minute. So if we compare punching and this direct elution, we see for punching, you can have multiple punches per spot and also with variable 
punch size. However, this process has not been fully automated. And as soon as you punch out your disk, there is no physical connection between your sample and your label anymore. This is quite a no-go in, in modern laboratory, speaking of GLP, good laboratory practices. Also, if you punch different regions of the spot, this could have an influence on your result. And then uh, followed by this passive extraction and large volume. On the other hand, direct dilution, we always keep the, uh, the connection between our sample and, our, and the label. The extraction is under pressure and very fast to get this very concentrated extract. Um, we only have one analysis per spot because we use the very center to really get rid of this um, in-spot variation and to achieve high quality analytical results.